It is finally time. The Dark Angels have had a lot to look forward to recently, and the latest big thing, of course, was the reveal of Belial, the new Deathwing Knights, and the Dark Angels upgrade sprue, all of which are coming in the new box set, Deathwing Assault. And it looks now like it's going to be in our hands in just a few short weeks, scalping issues notwithstanding, of course, because the Deathwing Assault box is going up for pre-order next weekend. And as you can see, in all of its glory, we have those 10 Terminators, the 5 Deathwing Knights, two of the brand new Dark Angels upgrade sprues, Belial himself, and of course, the first chance to get your hands on the new 10th edition Dark Angels Codex. As I mentioned in an earlier video we did on this, this army list does come to around 720 points, although that is subject to change in the new Codex of course, so it nets you a nice, solid little army straight out the box, which you can very, very easily bump up to a nice thousand point list just by adding another character or maybe even another five Deathwing Knights to it to make a really fun little Terminator themed thousand point list. And with the new codex, of course, you will be ready straight to go and play some games straight out of the box. The article mentions the codex having 20 datasheets in it, which considering the current Dark Angel index that came around at the beginning of 10th has 18, and we are gaining the companions, that puts us at 19, but the new Combat Patrol datasheets, as far as I'm aware, are also included in those numbers from the 10th edition books, and from what the rumours are saying, that's going to be adding another 4, because there is likely to be a new Dark Angel Combat Patrol coming as well, so it is likely we're going to be losing a few units. Things like the Deathwing Command Squad and the Deathwing Strike Master are almost certainly going to be gone, I think. And there is also an ongoing question about the Talon Master. He is, of course, an iconic Dark Angel datasheet, but he currently doesn't have a model. And with regular Space Marine speeders going the way of Legends, he may also be hitting the chopping block. Which would be a shame. We're going to have to wait and see to get confirmation. I've sort of heard both sides. Some people are saying he is still in the book. Some people are saying he's probably gone. But it does look like that at the very least, we are going to be losing two units, almost certainly the Command Squad and the Strike Master, and then we may also be losing that third unit if the Talon Master is gone. And as I said, those would be fairly big losses, but in my opinion, the addition of the Companions kind of makes up for that. I think they look so cool and awesome, although they're not in this box. I'm glad that they are in the Codex, and I think that is going to make it overall like better, even if we are losing those three other units. There is also some talk that the Codex is going to be coming with three detachments rather than the six or so that things like the Tyranids, the Necrons and the Marines got, which again, to be fair, does kind of make sense. This is just a supplement Codex, so I don't imagine or didn't imagine that it was going to have quite the extensive set of rules as the fuller Codexes did. It still means though, as a Dark Angels player, unless they put any stupid restrictions in the Dark Angel Codex, that you are essentially going to have these three detachments, which will presumably be a Ravenwing themed, a Deathwing themed, and the Index Unforgiven themed ones, in addition to all of the Marine detachments you can still choose from. So it does seem likely that you are still going to have a huge amount of choice in building your army how you want to set it up, which in my opinion is very, very welcome. And then the last thing I wanted to touch on is the issue of price. Now, historically, these army boxes have come in around the £125 to £150 mark, I think. Things like the Beast Snaggers and the Black Templars were £125, I know that. But I think as time has gone on, they have bumped up ever so slightly. So in my opinion, we will probably see this come in at £140 is my hope but 150 isn't out of the realms of possibility, I don't think. So what kind of savings are we looking at if it does come in at that price point? The Codex is going to be £35 as per usual. Belial will likely come in at the new character price, which is around £27.50. The Deathwing Knights currently are £37.50, as are the Deathwing Terminators. So you're getting three boxes at that price all in. So those things alone, the Codex, Belial, and five Deathwing Knights and 10 Deathwing Terminators, 
that brings us to £175. However, not only is it potentially likely that the new Reebok Deathwing Knights and Deathwing Terminators may actually be slightly more than £37.50, but on top of that, we're also getting two of the new upgrade sprues. And using the latest version we have, which is the Big Black Templars one, they come in at £21 each. Now I'm fairly sure the Dark Angel one is going to be the same price, but if we just count them as £20 each for the ease of it, that adds an extra £40, which brings us to a total of £215 just for the codex and the plastic. Then of course you have to add in things like the transfer sheets, the fact that this is a special unique cover edition of the codex, and of course the datasheet pack. This could, in my opinion, quite easily be considered a £225 box. And so that means that even if this does come in at £150, which is on the top end of my estimate, you are making a saving of nigh on £75. And as always, as we've come to expect, that is roughly a saving of around 30%. It's just over, it's about 32 or 33%, I think. Essentially, netting you at the very least Codex, Belial, and like a few bits from the upgrade sprue absolutely free. So it is very much a good value box. It does have some really good contents. It's going to be the first place you can grab the new book. And we essentially get a full set of brand new models. The oldest things are the Terminators, which are still less than a year old because they came out with 10th edition. And even though they are like the oldest thing there, considering you can spruce them up with the new upgrade sprues, they will very much look brand new, I think, with how they can be built. So all told, I think this is a great box. It's a solid amount of points. It's all Terminators, which in my opinion is always a win. And it is a really very good saving for what you get. So I personally will definitely be trying to get my hands on this next week when it goes up for pre-order. But as always, I'd really love to know your thoughts. Do you think it's a good box? And how much do you think it will end up costing? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me. But until next time, I'll catch you later, guys.